Hi guys, this is SDJRSNF88 speaking with a quick tutorial on how to install Hornby's new standalone TTS digital sound decoders to your model locomotives. So as you all know, the Hornby TTS range has been extremely popular with modelers new and old and has provided a great way of getting into digital sound on a budget. Since the introduction of the first few sound fitted locomotives, modelers have been calling for their own separately fitted sound decoders to add to models they already have in their fleet. And as you can see, the first few decoders have arrived, including this Class 31 sound decoder which we'll be installing into a railroad Class 31. So the decoder comes with this neat little bit of packaging. Inside you get a couple of instruction manuals and a separate little bit of packaging which actually contains the speaker and the decoder itself. We'll take a closer look at these in a moment once we get them out of that bit of packaging. Now the two instruction manuals include this one here which is a class 31 sound decoder manual and this is the same manual you get with a pre-fitted uh, TTS sound locomotive so this tells you how to set the CVs uh, all the sound functions and how to operate the locomotive. The next bit of paperwork is very important and I highly recommend you read this all the way through before you do anything with the uh, decoder. I've already read this uh, but basically this gives you guidance on how to set up your decoder and how to mount it to locomotives. It mentions that certain locomotives will need modification to include the decoder uh, one nice little thing that it mentions is, as you know, all Hornby locomotives are 8-pin, but it does say that these can be fitted to 21-pin locomotives uh, with a suitable adapter, so that's great to see that they are compatible with other manufacturers. Another nice little touch, which I think is really, really nice for Hornby, is at the bottom here. It says, if you choose to carry out your own installation, much more information and advice can be found on DCC forums and other model railway sources. So basically it's encouraging you to uh, go online and get in contact with other modelers and uh, get you know, a few more information, a uh, bit more information and tips on how to install it from other modelers. So it really encourages sort of the modeling community to um, you know, get in contact with each other, which I think is quite nice. So once you've read through that, it's time to actually take a look at the decoder itself. So here's a closer look at the decoder. And as you can see, you've got the pre-wired speaker and speaker mount along with the decoder itself and the 8-pin plug. Now included in that little packet was a pack of screws which are for mounting the speaker to your locomotive. So before we get started, it's very important to test the locomotive you plan to fit, just to make sure you know that everything is in working order. So without further ado, we're going to quickly pop the Class 31 on the track, uh, run it on analog just to make sure it's running at A-OK, -okay, before we take the body off and start installing the decoder. Body removal on a railroad class 31 is relatively simple. There are six lugs in total that hold the body on all together, three on each side, and they are located one above each centre column on the bogey and one directly above the fuel tank. To release them, you simply ply the body apart with your fingers from underneath and gently lift the body off. Now, the body can be on there quite tight, so do take your time uh, gradually lifting the body off to make sure you don't damage anything uh, on the bogies or on the body itself. So once you remove the body you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now as you can see we've got the motor bogey, the locomotive weight and we've also got an 8 pin DCC socket. Now to install the decoder all you have to do is remove that little blanking plate on there and insert the decoder. As you can see there's plenty of room down this end of the locomotive to house the speaker. 
taking a closer look at the blank and plug, and you'll see there's a white arrow with a number 1 next to it, which corresponds to the same markings on the socket below. This indicates which way you'll need to insert the plug on your decoder when you insert it into the socket. Inserting it the wrong way round will result in the model either running the opposite direction or not functioning correctly. To remove the plug it's very simple, just simply grab hold the corners and gently pull and it should pop out. Inserting the decoder is just as easy. Line up the corresponding pins and simply push to fit. So once you've plugged in the decoder, just roughly position everything where you want it to be and then it's time to pop the chassis on the track for another quick test run just to check that everything is in working order. So once you're satisfied that everything is in working order, it's time to mount the speaker and the decoder. For this, I'm going to use a double-sided sticky foam pad, as the chassis itself predates the TTS mounting points. This will stop the speaker from rocking about in the chassis when the locomotive is on the move. Once complete, you can then pop the body on and you're good to go.